Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Dylan. We are back here with another Madden video. Today, what I got for y'all is going over and updating my best strong safety tier list in Madden 22 Ultimate Team. Now, before we do go on ahead and update this tier list, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I drop daily Madden content on the channel. My end of year goal by the time Madden 23 comes out is it 10K subscribers. And I could not do that without y'all, so I greatly appreciate that. Now, one more thing before we get into the video, we got to bring back the comment of the day. Today's winner is going to be my guy Pack Attack right here. He asked for the best strong safety tier list, and hey, man, I got you. It was a little bit later than when you commented, but hey, we're updating the strong safeties today. If you want to go ahead and have a chance to win comment day, make sure to leave a comment down below. All right, let's get it started. So in the S tier, I think Cam, Isaiah, Jimmy Graham, Derwin are all S tier. No debate from me about it. I'm dropping Ted into A. Ted is going to be the only person in A tier right now. The reason being is... He's just a tad bit slow, like just just a little bit. He's still probably an S tier user, but I don't know. I still really, really like him. I'm dropping basically the entire A tier besides like Ted uh, down. We're dropping B tier down and so on. So I did decide to keep Reggie Nelson in the B tier as well. I still kind of like him. Um, again, Ted, only person in A tier. I do think these are basically the top four uh, strong safeties in the game before we get into the new cards this is what i'm thinking let me know your thoughts down below in the comments do you think anyone in b should go up into a but today in total we got eight new strong safeties to rank the first one right here is going to be free agent marcus may so marcus may is a really really good card uh powered up 95 speed within the zone could be 97 on any team and on a full theme team he would be 99 speed so he gets every single team Kim in the game as well. So if you run any sort of 50 out of 50 theme team, Marcus May is a perfect safety on your theme team. It's pretty good physical stats all the way across the board. Change of direction is a, it's a little bit low, just a little bit. It will hit 99 play rec powered up within the zone, 95 man powered up, 99 zone powered up. Not great press, so this isn't a card I would go ahead and play at corner. And he also has that big hitter trait on yes. So... Where I rate Marcus May, it's kind of tough because theme team wise, if you have him on a theme team, he's S. But if you don't have him on a theme team, he's either B or A. I'm not going to lie to you. He's either B or A. I think I would take him over every single card in B. So I'm going to go ahead and put him A tier for now. But again, if you don't have a theme team, it's kind of tough because he would probably play more on the B tier level than A tier. But given he gets every single team came in the game, I think that's why I'm going to go ahead and put him A. But him first, like say Jimmy Ward on a non-theme team, they are very, very close. I mean, Marcus May is an inch taller, I believe. Uh, Jimmy Ward, I think, is plus one speed. So... I think it will kind of wash out a little bit. And next up right here, we got Jaquiski Tart right here. So he powered up, going to be 94 speed. Uh, within the zone could be 96. On a full theme team, 98 speed. Uh, not great change of direction or agility. He would go ahead, hit 90 play rec again within the zone and powered up. 6'1 height is pretty good as well. Uh, 90 zone powered up would also hit 90 press. So I mean, this is a card you, if you wanted to, you could play my corner, whatever. Um, doesn't have the big hitter trait on yes either not really a great run defender either so if i were to use this card say if i was running a niner seam team probably just play him as like a true safety i don't think he's bad on a full theme team but uh non-theme team wise i think he's probably like c i think he's probably like c i think everyone in b tier is better than him but yeah he's like okay pretty good on a theme team now we got xavier mckinney right here so Comment actually really helped me out. So if you go to upgrade right here on mutt.gg, you can actually see what their overdrive boost is. So for Xavier McKinney, um, I'm going to be honest with you, I would much rather just power him up because his overdrive boost is pretty trash. He loses his 90 play rec. He, he hits 90 man, but I don't know. I think I'd rather just have this card play as a true safety and not someone that would have the man coverage, if that makes sense. So compared to his base item, uh, like I said, he loses his 90 play rec. Honestly, like his overdrive kind of sucks. Here's why. So powered up 95 speed could be 97 again uh, within the zone. Pretty good change of direction, acceleration, agility, all that. 90 play rec, 90 zone. But within the zone as well, or if you have Deion Sanders on your team, powered up, he would easily hit 90 man coverage. So 
I, I don't really see the point in just using his overdrive. I'd much rather have the speed for uh, being powered up and you see like he doesn't get any speed. That's probably what I would go ahead and do. I wouldn't use the overdrive boost on him. So not uh, overdrive boost, Xavier McKinney. Where do we think he's at? I think he's B, B or C. I think I'll go ahead and put him B because he hits 90 man, 90 play rec, 97 speed is fine as well. I think he's pretty solid. Next up, we got one of my favorite safeties in the game, Bernard Pollard. Uh, I really was a big fan of his, uh, I forget, Team Diamond. Team Diamond that came out earlier in the year. And this card's cracked. So powered up 97 speed. What does that mean on any single team with just in the zone? 99 speed, strong safety right here. Great acceleration, would be 99 powered up. Uh, good change of direction and agility as well. Hits 90 90 play rec hits 90 man hits 90 zone hits 90 press if you wanted to you could go ahead and play him at corner he's six one as well so good height and a great run defender has a big hitter trade on yes i mean just basically everything i'm looking for in a safety the only reason i don't think he's probably the best safety in the game is because you have people like Jimmy Graham, Isaiah Simmons that are like 6'5", six, 6'8", six, you know what I'm saying? So I think he's S tier. Uh, I'd, I'd probably take him over Derwin, but I don't think uh, he's the best safety in the game. I think I might rather have Jimmy Graham and Isaiah Simmons, probably even Cam too, I don't know. It's a debate to be had. I, I think these three probably still my favorite in the game, but yeah, Bernard Pollard up there for sure now we got chauncey gardner johnson right here let's go to upgrade see what his overdrive does so with this overdrive um he gets he becomes a actually this is a card where so with his overdrive i don't think it's worth it here's why so yes he becomes a pretty good run defender with block shit and everything but he's 5'11. so this is a card i wouldn't really want to play in the box i mean maybe as like a slot corner sure but i would much rather value him being 99 speed within the zone powered up over him hitting like 90 something block shed uh kind of, i guess you could go either way but that's just my opinion and other than that hits 90 play rec 90 man 90 zone i believe he would hit 90 press with in the zone doesn't have the big hitter trade on yes so the thing on him right his stats wise and everything he's probably s he is probably s tier but i'm putting him a tier the reason being is he's 511 i i think i would rather i think i'd rather use ted than this card as well even though ted is going to be uh two less speed within the zone i still think chauncey like he's a great strong safety i just don't quite think he's s tier and again it's just really like a height thing like he's like right there but i think i'm gonna go ahead and lean towards the a tier now we got j ron curse right here this card is for sure one of the best safeties in the game uh powered up 96 speed with in the zone any single team 98 speed pretty good acceleration agility and change of direction as well he's also 64 that is the major thing on him 64 safety uh 90 man 90 zone again powered up he would go ahead be 87 play rec i believe you have Deion sanders and you're in the zone uh, strategy cards, you could get that play rec up to uh, 90 pretty easily. Uh, I believe he could also go ahead and hit 90 press as well. So yeah, if you want to play Matt Corner, you could go ahead and do that. Other than that though, honestly, he doesn't have the big hitter trade on yes. How I would use this card, I think this would be my user. I, I'm pretty sure that's what I would want to do with him. But the another major thing on him though, his tier three ability slots, he gets acro for one AP. He gets acro for 1 AP, potentially under pressure for 1 AP as well. It's kind of, you could use him in a unique way. Say like you want to blitz him a lot or something. I think without him getting acro for 1 AP, I would have put him A, but I'm putting him S. I'm putting him S and I think I'd rather have, I, I think I might rather have him than Pollard. It's an argument to be had. I think he, again, him being 6'4 is just really, really crazy and get an acro for one ap that's just tremendous value you can get this card for free doing your uh, house rules as well i i just think he he's insane now next up right here we got rayshon jenkins this is again one of my favorite cards in the game him going for 30k is an absolute steal especially if you're just going ahead starting your team uh powered up 95 speed if you have your end of zone strategy cards 97 pretty good 6-1 safety as well not great agility but decent change of direction and acceleration as well again within the zone you can get that play rec up to 90 relative easily but he isn't someone that you would play at corner you're either going to want to play this card as a true safety or this is going to be your user uh 90 zone is pretty good on him as well but again low press low man not really built to be a corner right um pretty decent run defense as well 97 block shed powered up uh doesn't have that big hitter trait on yes 
So again, this is a card that I would personally go ahead and use her if I were to use him. Uh, I don't think he's A tier, but I do think he's like B. I actually, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of the card. I'm gonna put him B by like Ken Houston and stuff. I don't mind that at all. You could have him like lower end B. Uh, I, I think like, again, he's just all around pretty solid, whether it be a user or like a uh, true safety. I think again, he's just solid all the way around. And for the last card of the video, we got Adrian Amos right here. He's a six foot, 97 speed, powered up, strong safety. What does that mean? Any single team with your in the zone strategy cards could go ahead and be 99 speed, 96 excel, Pretty good agility and change of direction as well. Hits 90 play rec. Could hit 90 man. Again, powered up. You have Deion Sanders. You have your in the zone. Uh, he could hit 90 man pretty easily. Hits 90 zone as well. Doesn't have the big hitter trait on yes either. So, like, this is a tough one for me. Where am I rating Adrian Amos? I think I'm going to have him as the best card in A. It's just, I think Derwin... Pollard, Curse, Jimmy, Isaiah, Cam, all would play so much better than this card. I, I think that's what I'm going to do. Stats-wise, though, he you could say he's S tier. I'm not going to say you're wrong. I think Adrian Amos does play really, really good as well. It's just kind of tough because, like, if you compare him to, say, Derwin James, right? Like, comparing him to Derwin James, right? I mean, they're the same speed. Derwin's 6'2", though. I mean, 90 play rec is going to play basically the same as like 93. It's not really a big difference at all. 90 zone could hit 90 man on both cards. Derwin has the big hair trade on yes as well. Like it's tough to like, I, I think I'd much rather have Derwin James than this Amos card. And I think like Derwin being two inches taller and also having that big hair trade on yes just makes him better than Amos. So yeah, I think I'm sticking with this. Uh, I know A tier is a little bit weird. Because there, there's a couple things that I don't want to say I don't like about A tier. One is going to be Marcus May because of the fact that if you don't run a theme team, he's probably more on the B tier level. But again, him getting every single team chem is kind of why I put him A tier. I could see you going ahead having him B tier though. But let me know your thoughts down below. I think we could go ahead and move some people up from B to A. But honestly, if I were to go ahead and order this right now, uh, Cam, ah, Cam, you could, I think for saying the best safety in the game, I think it's between Cam, Isaiah, and Jimmy Graham. I'm not going to lie to you. I think either of those three you say is the best. I don't think you're wrong. I think Curse, Pollard, and Derwin also have some pretty strong arguments as well. Down below in the comments, let me know what you did think of this tier list. Who do you think should go up? Who do you think should go down? If you did stay to the end of the video, though, you enjoy content like this, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I appreciate y'all clicking on to the video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Other than that, though, man, has been your boy, Dill, and I'm out. Peace, y'all.